I got a do rag and a hoodie on in the middle of August. We don't give a fuck. I just want to know if you're watching this video right now, how do you live life without eating macro bars? How do you do this shit, you fucking maniac? Y'all read the title of the video, so you already know what this is about. You still cannot make as many gains as you want to. Or you probably still cannot get as cut or lean as you want to because of your freaking diet. I keep saying this over and over again, over and over and over again. I'm telling y'all, diet is probably... What in the hell is going on? I don't want to record a video. Something stupid always happens. But for any of y'all that want to know, bro, the diet does not... You do not need to eat rice, chicken, or broccoli every single second in order for you to get lean and cut. I promise you, you don't. I rarely... I've probably eaten that meal probably like six times throughout my fitness journey. So that just lets you know, bro. I can sit up here and I can yell in front of a camera and I show y'all pictures and I show y'all evidence that I'm in the gym and I'm clear cut evidence of the fact that what I'm saying is facts and I barely eat that shit. You don't need to eat that shit. Now, once again, the G word genetics, your genetics might suck. Nobody cares. You want to get fit. That's all that really matters. So to be completely honest with y'all, bro, the reason why there's only, only two reasons why your diet could be on you back. Reason number one. You eat too many damn calories. I literally don't know how else to say. You eat too many calories. You can go online. You can go to a calorie tracker. You can track the calories that you need for maintenance. Now, first things first, before you even try to start worrying about cutting, bulking, stop. Hit the maintenance first for at least a month. Make sure, because the reason why I say, see, a lot of people might say, try hitting maintenance for a week, maybe two weeks. I say a month because you need to get in the whole groove and the most maximum gains with your maintenance calories. Because y'all be trying to go from, man, it's fucking raining right now. Y'all be trying to go from, y'all be trying to go from not knowing what the hell calories, how are knowing, not knowing how the hell calories matter to kapoof, you're going to cutting calories. Like, no, you have to go step by step niggas trying to skip through all the letters in the alphabet bro you need to relax you need to understand that you must go through steps in order to get there so first things first make sure go go to a calorie look up calorie tracker type in your height weight age how much you exercise it should tell you right there how many calories you consume and i'm automatically assuming that y'all niggas aren't freaking four foot five. Oh my god it's raining like shit i'm not gonna automatically assume you guys aren't freaking four foot five midgets that are 50 pounds so i'm assuming that you have to eat somewhat above 2,000 calories a day so on top of that right you gotta eat about 2,000 every day and that's just for maintenance off rip so you need to find what your maintenance is make as many gains as possible with the maintenance calories and then you can start cutting but until you're able to even hit a consistent calorie mark don't even try to start cutting it don't try to worry about losing fat trying to gain muscle at the same time no 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 what you need to focus on first is actually trying to hit calories make sure you're hitting the calories are you actually even able to hit the calories and be able to be consistent you got to track what you eat bro you are not five years old you are not 10. mommy and daddy will not tell you what you need to eat i will not tell you what you need to eat you need to know what you need to eat there's no more excuses no more bro I'm trying to tell y'all right now, bro. You need to start tracking everything you eat, anything you put in your body. I don't care if you drink a beverage. You need to count how many calories are in that, how many macros are in that, because I'm so serious. Track everything. I wouldn't necessarily say macros, because like I said, I don't really give a damn about macros personally. You probably should. But the main thing I really track is calories, because I don't want to be too low on calories, because if I'm too low on calories, and I wake up the next day, I'm tired of shit. If I'm too high on calories, I may be hella energetic, but I'm eating too many calories. Too many damn calories means to me getting getting fat, look like you niggas. I don't wanna look like you niggas. But that's the main point that I'm trying to get to. Y'all need to track every damn thing as far as calories. Never eat too many calories. I don't know why y'all are eating too many calories when there are things such as calorie cal calorie trackers that exist. The next thing is flat out you're eating bullshit. I don't know what else to say, you're eating bullshit. Yeah, you might hit 2,500 calories, but nigga, you ate three hamburgers. Pancakes with hella syrup. You know what I'm saying? You eating chips. I mean, yeah, you might track it, but what you're eating is bullshit. That's the thing I'm talking about. It's not just calories sometimes. 
you have to be somewhat mindful of your macros. Like I said, I don't track my macros. But do I know when I'm eating too much sugar? I know damn well when I'm eating too much sugar. Do I know when I'm eating too much damn fat? I know damn well when I'm eating too much damn fat. Do I know full well when I'm eating too many carbs? I can see it on my body. I know. So please understand that you can eat 2,500. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You can eat like four honey buns and eat all the calories you need for a day. Four honey buns. Now, is that going to get you swole? Absolutely no. There ain't no nutritional value in any of that shit. I mean, yeah, you probably could. I mean, it will satisfy the amount of sugar you need for like a week. But how much protein do you have? You don't even have enough protein. You only have a quarter of the protein you need for a day. And you're out of calories for the day. The day. You see me? You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Like, y'all really have to track and manage everything. That's why I said there's no such thing as unhealthy foods. The thing is, everything is like a meter in a video game. You can spend all your money. You spend your whole meter on honey buns. But guess what? You can't eat any more calories. You can't eat any more sugar. But you need to eat food. And all the food that you kind of need to eat has those things. So you're kind of stuck. You see what I'm saying? It's like y'all just waste all of your meters, right? Because everything's like a video game, right? You waste all your meters. You fill up all your meters on bullshit. And then that stops you from eating anything else because you can't eat anything else because you're going over calories or you're going over too much sugar or you're going over too many fucking carbs. That's why you need to stop eating bullshit. Everything you need to eat needs to be for games. Stop drinking soda, nigga. Stop. Why are you drinking soda? It's 2021. What the, what the hell are we doing here? We're grown men. I'm assuming you're like grown men. I don't know. If you're like 13, nigga, still stop drinking soda. I don't know why you're drinking that shit. Lemonade is highly sugary, nigga. I rarely drink lemonade. Let's go ahead and be honest. It tastes good as hell, but I rarely drink that shit. It's so many things that you can just easily avoid and just be perfectly fine. But for some reason, y'all just, y'all keep lying to yourselves. That's the last step. Stop freaking... Stop freaking lying to yourself. Bro, you know damn well your diet's been shit. Be honest with yourself. Your diet has been shit. It's okay. Fix it, all right? Know how many calories you ate. Don't bullshit. Nigga, if something has 550 calories, count it as 600. Don't count it as 500. Nigga, count it as 600. Come on, now. Like, stop. Like, y'all keep bullshitting yourselves. Like, I don't know what to tell you if you're lying. If you're lying to yourself, I don't know what the hell to tell you. Because at that point, it's a personal problem. Keeping it a whole bean. It's a, it's a personal problem at that point. I can't help you. All right? Track what you eat, especially calories. Stop eating BS. And, nigga, stop lying to yourself. You lying to yourself is not getting you anywhere. It's just protecting your ego and getting you bigger and fatter. You're fat as shit. Stop that shit and listen to me. But anyways. I'm hungry. I'm about to get food. It's Frank and I'm out.